hello it's been a minute welcome back to my channel my name's l thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today just as you are and thank you so much for giving me the space to be here today just as i am it's been a minute <laughs> i've i'm gonna like i need to stop introing my videos like this because i upload when i upload you know like i and i'm just come to that conclusion i do think that i will be able to upload more frequently because if you can't tell i'm kind of in the middle of nowhere mainly because i moved to the middle of nowhere i moved back to my hometown i originally had plans to make like a whole video about it i was kind of vlogging like talking about why i'm moving and then filming the move and stuff but whenever i got here i didn't film anything so it would be just like 10 minutes of me packing and that's boring i did this for my mental health i did this for a few other reasons the lease in at my apartment in Kansas City was ending. I turned in a few vlogs that the city was making me feel stuffy and I just felt uncomfortable. I definitely feel like I didn't take advantage of all of the nature that my hometown has to offer. And just over the past year, I've grown to appreciate nature so much more in a way that I don't think I ever did. So I definitely think that this will be a pivotal moment in my self-healing journey. So we can only see what goes on from here. I spent the past few days really just like unpacking, trying to get my room together. I've been making a lot of art. I've been talking to my grandmother a lot which has been really nice i've been driving around to a few of my favorite places such as this lake as you can see i drove out here on like our little four by four side by side whatever you want to call it just sitting here and appreciating the nature i was gonna journal but on my way in i found a little butterfly so I'm don't want to disturb her by like journaling. She's dead, but I don't want to disturb her by journaling. I want to try and like preserve her. So I'm keeping her in there. Her body was smushed. So I really think I'll only be able to salvage about two wings yeah i really do already just feel like so much happier i was on facetime with natalia the other day and she mentioned she was like yeah i can kind of just tell that you're feeling a lot better out of the city and just like out of the situation that i was in and i agree i yeah it really sucks to like outgrow someone and i'm just going through that process, going through the process of getting over a friendship that I thought would last forever. But obviously, nothing is forever. People come and go. Now I just have more space for the things that are meant for me, you know? But that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. I've missed you all. Um, my ASMR video right now is kind of popping off and I'm rather happy because i really liked that video and i was really scared to upload it so the fact that it's being received well is making me really happy so hello to all the new subscribers that i have from that video so hey how are you my pronouns are they them my name's l i primarily make like spirituality vlogs lifestyle if you will but I really, I want to also like upload more ASMR because I watch ASMR every night and it is a big part of my life. I don't think I'll turn into an ASMR channel and I don't really think I will make an ASMR channel, but 
I will 100% upload content here and there. So the past two mornings, I've been going on walks early in the morning whenever I wake up and it has been so nice to just be able to like walk around my neighborhood and listen to just all the noises of nature in the morning. It's so lovely. I'm on my second lap. So sorry if my breathing's a little labored because I am very out of shape. I've seen like five bunnies today just this morning on like my first lap i saw a chipmunk a couple squirrels it's been really nice and it is just such a lovely morning yesterday i went outside a little bit late i started my walk about nine o'clock and by that point in time it was way too hot and that's about maybe 7 30 now and i'll probably be done walking like this morning about like eight or something it's just been really nice to be able to get out and move my body because i'm definitely not the most active person i just want to be able to like get into the routine of doing something to move my body every day whether that be yoga stretching a walk maybe even more. The only predicament that I find with this is as someone that struggles with their eating habits, anytime I get ready to do something physical, I ask myself, am I doing this because I want to or am I doing this for other reasons? And I feel like that really helps me figure out what's going on with my body helped me assess where my head is at and like my healing journey 
because I am in this stage of my life where I am ready to get better. I want to protect and take care of the body that has protected and taken care of me for so long. Yeah, it's a really lovely morning. My neighbors are outside staring at me, but it's okay because it's just me and my egg head against the world, baby. Not my tripod sitting like right here and me still holding my phone. If we're being raw and real on this channel, which we are, which I can admit, I feel like I necessarily haven't been lately. Um, I feel like I just kind of haven't been too in tune with my own emotions. Well, I've been in an all right headspace, but... I just had a little bit of a breakdown just due to some comments that my family members made about my body. They aren't close family members, they're like distant relatives, even just in like my close family. I'm constantly getting ridiculed for my body. A lot of people in my family, they don't know that. It's not okay to comment on other people's bodies. It's just been a lot of dealing with a lot of that because now that I am back home, I am seeing people that I haven't seen in a really long time, relative wise, and the comments are really hard to handle. And it just really sucked in this moment because we had just sat down to eat dinner and I just feel like I've been doing really well in learning my hunger cues again like just trying to regulate all of that trying like trying to get better and we were literally eating dinner and this invasive distant relative is over and she approaches the dinner table and while I'm eating she makes rather unnecessary and hurtful comments and I'm just like you're really trying to make me cry at dinner and at first I was like okay yeah I can do this but then just like the thoughts are overcoming my brain. I just stepped back and I cried for a little and I was like, okay, I'm good. I can still continue. I can go eat dinner with my family. But then I sat there, I took one bite and it was just anxiety inducing. So I'm back in my room. I cried for a little. I feel a little bit better. I just feel like I haven't really processed a lot of the emotions surrounding my eating disorder. I just feel like I haven't really addressed a lot of my emotions surrounding my eating disorder and the fact of the matter that I'm actually calling it an eating disorder instead of disordered eating because I refused to let myself think it was that bad. Okay, so Astrid literally just started playing with her toy. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. But I don't even know how I'm feeling. My grandma asked me how I was feeling. And I'm like, I don't know. Because I thought I was doing rather okay. I thought 
thought I was doing rather okay. And then, you know, I briefly talked about the comment that my relative made in my last clip, but I got cut off and I'm not really sure where I was and that just really hard to be in an environment where people don't understand that it's not cool to comment on other things that people can't control and i'm feeling a little drained i'm feeling rather kind of upset i'm just gonna sit here and maybe watch a few youtube videos or something it's like 8 30 I didn't even go for a walk this morning. I decided not to because I just feel like really tired from like overall the past few days. And because I don't necessarily feel like I'm in the right headspace right now, I feel like I would be walking for other reasons than just because I want to. I'm gonna sit here and watch the Purple Palace's new video maybe journal a little or make some vent art. I don't really know. My mom loves fries. She loves like saucy things. Smaller, so I'm not taking my bed. I'm downgrading to- I'm not sure if I've shared this with you all yet, but the past couple days I went rock hunting. I think I included a clip or two of me at my own little private beach. If I haven't talked to you all about this, then I will. I love rocks. I love crystals, just also just rock hunting in general, as you may or may not know by the content that I do upload. So the other day, I went out to one of my favorite spots for the first time. And I was just sitting out there minding my own business, you know, rock hunting like I do. And I have never found a hagstone. If you don't know what hagstones are, they are basically rocks with just naturally made holes in them. And I go rock hunting frequently. So in my head, I was like, I've never found a hagstone. I would really love to find one. like. That would be really good and practically one after the other i found three the other day so here's the first one it has like a very perfect clear hole right in the middle the second one that i found the other day has a couple of small holes like right here and then i believe there may be another one like right here and then the other one that i found yesterday has the smallest hole just right here but it was literally like one right after the other and i was like oh my god you're kidding and i posted on instagram just about my time and i had a friend comment and she was like I would love to go with you, let's make it a friend date. And I was like, oh my God, okay. So yesterday, her and I went to the same place to rock hunt and she found so many hagstones. I found so many hagstones and just like pretty rocks in general. And I'm gonna show you them. So the first hagstone is so cool. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it has a whole like, directly yeah right through there and that is the only hole that it has but you can tell that there were other ones forming and i just think this looks so cool i picked it up and at first i was like oh it's just you know a regular rock but there were a lot of small rocks trapped in this little crevice so i just spent some time like trying to dig them out and what do you know it was a hagstone the next one that i found was this one and it has a nice little hole right there nothing too special about this one other than the little hole i found this one which is honestly really freaking cool it has like a hole like through there can you see yeah, like right here those were the hagstones that i found 
And I just want to quickly show you guys two of the other rocks that I found that I thought were really freaking cool. So the first one is this one. I think Carly actually found this one and she graciously gave it to me, but are you kidding? I kind of found a smaller one very similar to that, but look at this. Like this genuinely looks like a tree trunk. I think it looks so cool. I don't know. I don't know really anything about the rocks that I find. So if I'm getting any of that information wrong, I apologize. It's not my intention. I am just basing my knowledge off of like other rocks that I have found and stuff and just things that my friends who also like collecting rocks have told me. So I've wanted to read Gone Girl by Gillian Gillian Flynn for a really long time. I've found it multiple thrift stores, half price books almost every single time I go, but every time I've convinced myself, no, I don't need this, like, I can get it another time, you know, and I just never ended up picking it up. Well, anyway, so this bookshelf was originally in, like, our spare room and it had a lot of my childhood books on it so whenever I moved back I was obviously like I want the bookshelf in my room I'm gonna move it in to my room so I went through all the books on the shelves and I am so very surprised that I had this because this definitely isn't the style of literature that I was into at this point in my life, but I found Gone Girl by Gillian, Gillian Flynn. Yeah, I definitely think that that was probably the universe being like, you literally have a copy in your childhood house, don't buy another one, you'll see it in a few months. And here I am. I do not know where I got this, to be honest maybe I accidentally took it from like a classroom maybe a another like thrift store maybe I did buy it at like a thrift store a few years ago I'm not sure but I have this now I started it the other day I'm only on page 15 but I haven't really been outside all that much today because it's been so hot it's about like 95 but it feels like about over a hundred so <laughs> I've been inside the majority of the day but it's the afternoon now I think it's starting to cool off so I'm going to go sit on our little hammock swing type deal and continue to read because it just sounds like fun right now <laughs> Okay, so I have this painting that I did the other day and I had it up on my wall right here and it just fell off. So I'm gonna put it back on. So yeah, I just painted this on like a canvas panel that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely 100% do not drink enough water so I haven't done one in a minute but get some water hydration check drink your water
because I know I'm severely dehydrated and you might be too. I was trying to find like a really big jug that I could just fill up with water so I constantly have water with me because I am so guilty of just not drinking enough water. So the biggest thing that I could find was just like, I think this quart mason jar. I watch Hitomi and she has like a gallon jug and I really wish I could find a gallon jug like that. So I'm just able to chuck water whenever I want. If you're seeing this, go drink some fucking water, please. I bet you need it. <laughs> I'm currently trying to redo my notion just a little bit because it has been a very long time since I've kept up with it. Like the last thing that I think I had documented on here was from April. So it has definitely been a while. I want to try and get back into a routine. I did a tarot spread for the first time today in probably like over a month, like my first successful tarot reading in probably over a month because I could argue that my last successful tarot reading was whenever I was in Colorado and that was the end of April, beginning of May. I really haven't consistently read tarot since then. I loved the routine that I had going. It just really helped me feel like I had my shit together and I want to get my shit together. Basically my tarot spread this morning was just asking me like what's holding me back like if I feel stuck and what I should do to like help combat those feelings. I'm just kind of filling out like a habit tracker right now just for the next like month or so and like the habits that I have on here are incredibly loose like they're not that like life changing I guess so what I have on here so here's just my habit tracker on here I have water and then on the options I have like one cup two cup three cup not anything and then like all the habsies in between yoga slash stretch no phone in the morning my morning tarot pool which i did journal breakfast lunch dinner no phone going to bed um i believe i was on my phone this morning so i can't check that all i've done is breakfast and tarot pool today so yeah, that is just what I have on this. I may add a few things, I'm not sure. Ooh.